everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies, Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review. The movie that I'm going to be talking about today is one that I'm going to be dedicating to the actor of this movie who uh, passed away on the 10th of February this year, 2019, and that is Jan Michael Vincent. Um, we will go on about his career after I reviewed the movie, but the movie I've chosen to uh, pay my tribute to him about is a film I haven't seen before, which is the 1975 movie White Lion Fever, which is directed by Jonathan Kaplan, and it stars Jan Michael Vincent, Kay Lenz, L.Q. Jones, Slim Pickens, and Dick Miller and Martin Cove. So, this movie is about Carol Jo Hummer, who has just returned home from the war and he's gone back home to um, resume his job of his father and son business in which they were truck drivers who were, you know, um, transporting goods from A to B, basically. And so as he returns, his father had died. And so Carol Jo has now invested all his money in his new truck. And um, he's gotten married to... Um, his long-term girlfriend Jerry who had been waiting for him to come home and um, as he's come home he goes to seek out work um, with his new truck which he has called the Blue Mule bit of a hard one to say that um, and so he drives down to um, a factory who he has dealt with in the past and he talks to the second in command, who is played by Slim Pickens, who you'll know from Blazing Saddles. And um, he also bumps into um, Dick Miller, uh, who works there, and Martin Cove, who you'll know from the Karate Kid movies. Um, but when he gets offered the work, he finds out that other things are being put on the truck which weren't part of the agreement, and um, it wasn't something that he's very comfortable with doing. So he basically decides to rebel and says, well, look, I'm not going to take these goods because you're giving me other things that aren't part of this. So take all the gear off. And so um, basically the long story of this movie is it's kind of a revenge uh, movie because, because Carol Joe wants to do the right thing. And he is a guy that really takes a lot of pride in doing the right thing. Um, he is being sort of um, targeted by um, some of these workers because he's not playing ball basically. And you've got other people who are in charge who are wanting these um, contraband products being transported from one place to the other. So he's getting completely stopped with doing his job. Um, but I don't really wanna really say too much more about it because I just think that um, the less you know with this one, again, the better because um, you can you can watch this movie and it's really well made. Um, I mean, Jonathan Kaplan started out in the school of Roger Corman, so he he worked in those movies and gone on to this one. And um, the actors in this film are great. Anyway, there's a great bunch of people in this film. Um, but you know, I thought with with Jan Michael's passing, I thought it would be right to pick something that I hadn't seen before, in which he was the star of. And so I decided to pick this one. And from reading up about this movie um, and, and the career of Jan Michael Vincent as well, which is that um, he um, had starred in odd movies and TV shows here and there. I, I remember seeing him as a kid in a, a segment on the TV series, The Banana Splits, which had some live action bits. And he was in like a little mini TV series that was on that. Um, but... He had done a couple of years prior to White Line Fever, he'd done a movie called The Mechanic with Charles Bronson. And um, after doing this movie, he had done uh, Damnation Alley in 1977 with George Peppard from the A-Team. And then a year later, he did the movie that's probably the most famous of his career, which is the 1978 movie Big Wednesday, which stars uh, Gary Busey and William Catt. And um, it wouldn't be until 1983 that he got the role that is the most famous of his career, which is he got um, the lead in a TV series called Airwolf, in which he played Stringfellow Hawk, who was this guy who flew this this helicopter 
um, uh, as part of a terms and conditions of um, trying to locate his brother, um, which was kind of a weird series because you look at it and Stringfellow Hawk, he was a very isolated figure, lived out in his cabin playing the cello and um, by day that's what he would do and by night he'd be flying the helicopter on dangerous missions and he was in it for three series out of the four series they did. Um, at the peak of it he was getting paid like $200,000 an episode but he quit it thinking that he could go on and do bigger and better things, get more money, that sort of thing. But the problem with Jan Michael Vincent, which you have to bring up, is that um, he had a drink problem. He was an alcoholic and he also had a very, very intense drug problem. Apparently, Jonathan Kaplan, the director of White Line Fever, said that apparently that was the first time that Jan Michael Vincent had actually used the drug cocaine um, whilst making that movie. And... Um, over the years as the as the roles dropped more and more in the late 80s and early 90s when he'd done things like Enemy Territory and Extro 2 and Deadly Heroes to name a few things. Um, during that time onwards he'd, he'd been involved in three automobile accidents uh, one of which uh, severely damaged his vocal cords um, so for the last probably 20 years of his life he was talking with a very raspy voice and um, I think probably about five or six years ago, he had his right leg amputated as well. Um, he'd been in trouble with the law for domestic abuse and violence. And it's, it's really sad for me to say this because really this is a video paying tribute to the man's career. But I, I feel that I have to be honest and say that, you know, despite the work of, of the television and movie stuff that he'd done, um, you have to be honest and say these things because I mean you know it, it's a real shame that this very very talented very good looking very charismatic young man would go in such a horrible downward spiral and would end up the way he did and that really makes me sad um, because really it's a wasted talent and um, yeah I mean I suppose that's all I really want to say um, so yeah Michael Vincent passed away at the age of 73 so this video is dedicated to him. Um, but what did I think of White Line Fever? I thought it was really good. I thought it was very entertaining. Um, it's not a very long movie, but you get a lot of stuff in there. You've got great character actors in it, like LQ Jones and Dick Miller and uh, Martin Cove as well, who I really like. So um, I think you should definitely check this out. If you're not a fan of Michael Vincent, still check it out because I think you'll enjoy it. It's... Um, it's very entertaining, it's a good story, it's got some good special effects in it as well regarding truck stuff. So, yeah, so that's that's my review of White Line Fever, I guess. So, um, have you guys seen it out of there? Have you guys heard of it? Were you guys fans of Jan Michael Vincent? Did you like him in Airwolf? Did you like him in Big Wednesday and all these other things that he'd done? Um, if so, leave some comments, tell us what you think. Um, check out our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages for all the news of upcoming stuff and you can get involved on there as well so thanks very much everybody and all the very best to you Bye -bye.